One of the tragedies of not cleaning house, not finishing the job, not putting away the criminals is that they, they come back. They come back to haunt you, right? Because once a criminal, always a criminal. So Hillary Clinton is back. She's like the she's like, you know, you you, you try to you try to uh, plant a, a a lawn, and all you want is nice green grass, but these weeds keep popping up, right? That's Hillary Clinton. That's right? a fucking weed, right? So they're switching the whole narrative right now. Now she, the devil herself, is on Rachel Maddow's show, right? The, the child of Satan, Rachel Maddow. Satan has, has, has entered the picture to switch the narrative from Russia because Russia failed. Now it's going to be China. Remember, I've been telling you all along that the setup is coming for 220, right? They're, they're, it's a, the election, the Democratic part of the election will be rigged. And it's very likely that the Republican side of it will be rigged. And you're going to see this massive clash of cheating going on, right? Uh, but but you could see already the Democrats are shifting to to China, right? So here is um, and I hate to do this to you, but there she is, right? There's the the witch herself, right? Now listen to her in her own words. Listen to her, just boo satanic nonsense, just total fucking lies. And we'll take a look at some of her lies, and uh, we'll see what you think. Russia is clearly backing Republicans. Why don't we ask China to back us? I hereby tonight ask China. That's to... right. And not only that, China, if you're listening, why don't you get Trump's tax returns? I'm sure our media would richly reward you. Now, according to the Mueller report, that is not conspiracy because it's done right out in the open. So if after this hypothetical Democratic candidate says this on your show, within hours, all of a sudden, the IRS offices are bombarded with incredibly sophisticated cyber tools looking for Trump's tax returns and then extracts them and then passes them to whatever the new WikiLeaks happens to be. And they start being unraveled and disclosed. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you're going to let Russia get away with what they did, and are still doing, according to Christopher Ray, the current FBI director who said that last week, they're in our election systems. We're worried about 2020, he said. So, hey, let's have a great power contest and let's get the Chinese in on the side of somebody else. Just saying that shows how absurd the situation we find ourselves in. It's sport. Right, that's what it is with the Clintons, right? It's 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 pure sport. I mean, the, you you want to take a after you watch that, you want to like go take a shower or or exterminate yourself, right? Wow. So so, but here's what she's saying, right? She's saying that China. She's instructing China. She's comparing China. She's comparing the what allegedly Russia did. But there's no proof that Russia did anything. It's actually proof that it was an inside leak. But let's just, for the sake of argument, use her vernacular of Russia is saying that Russia stole my emails that revealed massive corruption and quid pro quo, massive selling, you know, selling uh, favors out the back door for for political contributions to her to her fund, right? And all the other stuff, the the mishandling of classified information, all that stuff, right? She's comparing that to Trump's refusal to release his taxes, right? One is the same, committing multiple felonies, lying to Congress 10 times, right? Lying about Bosnian sniper fire. We'll look at that video. I got it. And uh, she's comparing that to, to, to Trump, right? That's what 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 uh, what Trump said. Now you see also she's she's doing the shout out to China. This is where the switch happens, right? They lost traction on Russia, so now the the kook. There's no. Did you hear any policy? Any policy? Anything for the American people? No. It's sport. It's it's Clinton sport, and now the sport is to take the Russia bullshit, which has now mostly failed. Although they still got that 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 little move, the little move was to say that Russia did in fact hack the DNC, which gives Clinton cover. Right? But now they're going to switch it to China, and there's more evidence to su suggest that that's what's that's what's coming. So 
Here's what she responded to. This is Trump. This is this is her. This that was a response to this. What Trump said. What do I have to get involved with Putin for? I have nothing to do with Putin. I've never spoken to him. I don't know anything about him other than he will respect me. He doesn't respect our president. And if it is Russia, which is probably not, nobody knows who it is. But if it is Russia, it's really bad for a different reason, because it shows how little respect they have for our country when they would hack into a major party and get everything. But it would be interesting to see. I, I will tell you this. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. So that, that was mostly a joke. That's just Trump rambling, right, going off the top of his head. Russia, get those, because it was a joke. Because he said nobody knew who, who did what. And it's probably clear, he was probably right at the time, that nobody did know. And that, that again, Russia Gate, Russia is a figment of Hillary Clinton and Robbie Mook's imagination. John Podesta. Russia Gate, the idea that Russia hacked the, the 2016 election was created in the bowels of Hillary for America in Brooklyn, New York, to, to obfuscate the fact that they got caught cheating, that the emails had leaked out, right? And then Russia Gate was born, probably March, April, May of 2016. So that's that was Trump's response. So is is Hillary Clinton trustworthy? <laughs> is Hillary Clinton is anything Hillary Clinton says trustworthy? We just heard her say that um, that China now China is going to get those tax returns. I would say that they probably already have those tax returns, and and that's what Hillary Clinton is insinuating that that the tax returns will be released through through nefarious activities through the new WikiLeaks, as she said, whatever the new WikiLeaks is, and 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 Trump's tax returns will hit the populace leading up to 2020. It's oh, it's going to be so devastating. He did all kinds of shit, but here's Hillary Clinton. Remember this. Hillary Clinton's attempt to tout her foreign policy experience hounded her again on the campaign trail today. I made... I, you know, this is 2008, running against Barack Obama. You know, I uh, made a, a mistake in, in describing it. I she claimed she times, misspoke I last week and was sleep-deprived when she described landing under sniper fire in Tuzla, Bosnia, something that didn't happen. But CBS News has found several times in the past few months when Senator Clinton used the Bosnia trip to try to show her international experience. December in Iowa. You know, we landed in one of those corkscrew landings and ran out because they said there might be sniper fire. False. I don't remember anybody offering me tea on the tarmac when that was happening. Then in February. The welcoming ceremony had to be moved inside because of sniper fire. Liar. And last week. And, uh, I remember landing under sniper fire. We basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. Liar. After CBS News video showed what really happened when she landed and greeted officials, Senator Clinton maintained there were risks but explained to the Philadelphia Daily News why she was seen on the Bosnian tarmac greeting a young child if it was really so dangerous. I was also told that the greeting ceremony had been moved away from the uh, tarmac, but that there was this eight-year-old girl, and I said, well, I, have, I, can't, I can't rush by her. I've got to at least greet her. So I greeted her, I took her stuff, and I left. Now that's my memory of it. Good to see you. Once again, her memory doesn't match our videotape. <laughs> she and her daughter Chelsea lingered on the tarmac to greet U.S. So military officials, took photos, there was the group of seventh graders on the tarmac, too. And then Senator Clinton walked to the armored vehicle where she did eventually duck and enter. Sen it's a total lie, right? So she's a, she's a fucking liar, right? That was the Bosnian sniper fire incident, right? Where she she obviously said, oh, she, she used it as a campaign pitch, a lie. Right? Again, sport. That's what the Clintons are. It's, nothing, it's not about for the people and policy and... And 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 you know the doing things that are representing the people. No, for them it's about a power grab. It's about sport. Trump is not very far off of that, you know, spectrum. Trump is mo you know is an opportunist as well, but Hillary Clinton, as you can see, takes it to a new level. 
Uh, so um, is is that an isolated lie? <clears throat> that was a big one from the past, but more recently, again, if you let if you don't chop the head, the head of the snake off, the snake continues to, to c- continues to do damage, right? So here's here's let's just watch this again. I know I've played this before, but watch watch the the number of lies Trey Gowdy rattles off. I think I counted like eleven. Secretary Clinton said she never sent or received any classified information over her private email. Was that true? Our investigation found that there was classified information sent. So it was not true. It, right. That's what I said. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm looking for a little shorter answer, so you and I are not here quite as long. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails, either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. There were a small number of portion markings on, I think, three of the documents. Secretary Clinton said, I did not email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? There was classified material emailed. Secretary Clinton said she used just one device. Was that true? She used multiple devices during the four years uh, of her term as Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton said all work-related emails were returned to the State Department. Was that true? No, we found work-related emails, thousands, that were not returned. Secretary Clinton said neither she nor anyone else deleted work-related emails from her personal account. Was that true? That's a harder one to answer. Uh, we found traces of work-related emails uh, in, on devices or in Slack space, whether they were deleted or whether when a server was changed out, something happened to them. There's no doubt that there were work-related emails that were removed electronically from the the email system. Secretary Clinton said her lawyers read every one of the emails and were overly inclusive. Did her lawyers read the email content individually? No. Well, in the interest of time, and because I have a plane to catch tomorrow afternoon, I'm not going to go through any more of the faults. So that's nine. Trey Gowdy, I think it's nine or ten. <laughs> I missed a Fucked up, but there's 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 the there's Hillary Clinton, the liar, right? And now again, no truth. There's no truth because Hillary Clinton. I don't know. There's speculation that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton met as CIA agents back in the '70s and the '60s. Remember, I don't know how true that is because the CIA is such a secretive organization, right? Who who even knows? But the fact is that Hillary Clinton is is a compulsive liar and now is re-entering the the stage, right? And they're, they're doing some other nefarious stuff too. I want to look at, I want to show you this, right? So, so the, the, the big, as I said, the big, the big move, right, is going to be that now maybe China hacked the election. <laughs> they're going to switch. They're going to switch gears because it worked so effectively. They got away with it once, right? Now, are they going to have FBI cover? Right? You hear, so you hear that that uh, see what what Clinton does? She came out on Rachel Maddow, and she basically held all of those all of those things that are now factual, which is the Russians hacked the DNC. That's now a fact. That has not been debunked. Right? If William Barr is going to do anything, or Christopher Ray at the FBI is going to do anything, it's going to it's going to dive into that evidence that Mueller presented that 12 Russians hacked the election. 12 Russians hacked the DNC. If they can debunk that, they can stop this cancer. That's the best way to describe it. So here is, I just want to point out that who, I, I've always told you who the people behind it is. And it's still the same players. Listen to this. If you are the Pentagon or the NSA, you have the most skilled adversaries in the world trying to get in but you also have some of the most skilled people working defense, unquote, said who? Robbie Mook. Robbie Mook sticks his head out again, who ran Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016. Quote, campaigns are facing similar adversaries and they don't have similar resources and virtually no expertise. So what Robbie Mook is now positioning himself to become the cyber security expert and everything China. Watch, that that's the next play. Right? Is Robbie Mook a CIA as well? Is Robbie Mook a, a spook of some sort? It does seem it does seem to be the case. Watch this. 
You shouldn't have to choose between getting your message out. He's talking about people running for office, right? That's what he's talking about. You shouldn't have to choose between getting your message out to voters and keeping the Chinese from reading your emails, said Mook, right? China, that's what they're going to do. They're going to flip it to China, I know, rush to get, try to get Russia and China to fight amongst each other. They're fucking warmongers, man. It's crazy. Like these people, Mook, Clinton, Podesta, Brazil, uh, Wasserman Schultz, they should have all been jailed. They should have, uh, uh, Uma Abedin, right? Fucking the, the spy ring in Congress, fucking Imran Awan, those people all should have been Locked up, but uh, you know, hey, listen, you can't, you can't lock them up, right? Uh, Trump can't lock them up. I see you were voted on, you were voted in to lock them up. I guess not, right? So we just keep the corruption going, right? Mook is this is interesting too. Mook is now a senior fellow with the Defending Digital Democracy Project. <laughs> it's actually a real defending digital democracy project at Harvard. If somebody wants to take a deep dive in there, I almost guarantee you'll find that that's a CIA cutout of some sort. Right? And the object is to get campaigns to side with them. Oh, you want some advice on cybersecurity? Come to us. We'll talk to you. Right? And you're actually, you're siding with the devil. Right? So Robbie Mook strikes again. The next play is going to be Russia. Hillary Clinton is sticking her satanic head out again. Very sad day. I mean, these people should have been, you know, Hillary Clinton, lock her up wasn't just a campaign slogan. It was a it was a critical necessity. Democrats are too cowardice. Bernie Sanders will never say, has never peeped the word about this sort of corruption. Oh yeah, he's he's talked about her 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 speeches for a lot of money and he's done a lot of good. Sanders did a lot of exposure. I mean we wouldn't have really focused on that in 2016, Hillary Clinton giving speeches to Goldman Sachs, for example, for $600,000, which can only be interpreted as a bribe, a quid pro quo. Here's $600,000 for you to come for one hour and talk to our people. Is that worth $600,000 to an investment banking firm unless they were getting a favor? Of course not. It's obvious. So Sanders did a lot of good. Let's not let's not go down that that. Uh, the, uh, oh, he bowed a knee to Hillary. Bernie Sanders probably bowed the knee to Hillary because he thought Trump was, in his own words, thought Trump was the worse. He he believed Trump was worse than electing Hillary Clinton. That's what he believed in his heart. Now, is he right? Is is he is that a matter of opinion? Well, it is a matter of opinion. Do I think it was a, a, the right move? Uh, no, I think it was inevitable that Trump would win facing off against Hillary Clinton. So why support Hillary Clinton when she's going to lose anyway? See, Bernie was a, Bernie's, you know, a team player. And, you know, even in light of the fact that they cheated him, there was no turning it back in his view. Maybe they threatened his life. You know, as Chuck Schumer says, the deep state has, you know, six, six different ways to get you. Remember when he said that on national TV? They'll get you. Uh, so you know, Sanders maybe maybe whatever the reason is. That's not. I'm not. It's not a defense of Sanders. It's just a a a showing that that Hillary Clinton is still somehow you're going to watch. Now, if you start to hear the Democrats say China, 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 China's going to hack this. The Chinese hackers. <laughs> I know. I mean, I have Chinese friends, right? And they 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 said China. What? Why are they? Why is she blaming China? Right? Because it's just, it's just grab an enemy, C- create an enemy, right? Fuck the people. Why? They, the people are. It's 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 evil. Right? It's an evil person. Right? So, Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this channel. This is self-supporting through uh, through your contributions. There's no big pockets here. Everybody says, Ah, oh, Conti, you're a shill. You're taking money for Bernie. <laughs> I'm fucking starving here, right? I'm fucking, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to tell the truth about about what's going on. Become a Patreon, and if you can make a one-time contribution, do that. Or you could also go to eBay and buy some stickers. I got these. Uh, I got the the new ones, the the new ones with the logo up there, right? at uh, eBay. 
eBay. You could become a, but mostly become a Patreon so that we continue this over the next year. It's going to be fascinating, folks. This is going to be the most insane kind of, you know, stuff going on. And any free speech is, we're going to be, we're going to be called Russian agents and Chinese agents and anybody who speaks the truth, anybody who, 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 even if people comment in your, in your, under your video and they happen to be Chinese, they're Chinese spies, shut them down. Right? This shit is going to get insane. Why? Because, because nobody stopped the problem. Nobody stopped the criminals. The criminals have gotten vindicated and, and, and no consequence, no consequence to their action. Kindly, Marcus Conti reporting. Don't forget to subscribe. YouTube is unsubscribing people. Marcus Conti reporting.